All right, I'm Sheriff McShooty, and I'm here to take you in. Wow, that's a big mouth. Okay, he's not so friendly. Howdy, Earthlings, and welcome back to Starbound with yours truly, Sheriff McShooty, who is in his log cabin here on his home planet just enjoying a quiet evening, although we got some varmints outside. What in tarnation is that? It's some indescribable horror. How about that fellow with the three heads? That same thing, indescribable and horrific. Get on now, skedaddle, before I come out there and start shooting. <laughs> so what do you think of my log cabin? Isn't it pretty awesome? So this is indeed my home planet. And you can always get back to your home planet from your ship simply by uh, beaming to the home planet. And it'll take you back here no matter where you be, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but sooner or later we're going to have a whole planet bookmarking system in Starbound, which is probably going to come um, pretty soon. And one of the, uh, one of the new patches... Coming down the pike, we'll be able to do that, and that's going to be nice so that we can just return to any planet any time we feels like it. So by the way, check this out. I have not been using this very often, guys, but there is an inspection mode, and if you press your N key, you get the uh, this little magnifying glass, and you can point to things, and you get a little uh, pop-up here that tells you what it is. It's kind of nice, and so far, pr practically everything I've pointed at has a description. It's a comfy wooden bed. And check out my butt, my bug. This is a mud stang, which is certainly a cowboy type bug. And that's why I put him in here in my mantle. It's a, it's a sticky bug, and it has two long horns on his head. Mud stang, not to be confused with a mustang. All right. Anyway, let's get back to work. We have some things to do here today, don't we? We have a quest. We are actually on our quest right now. We should be anyway, instead of messing around down in the cabin with bugs. We have to fill her up. So we need to get to a desert planet and make a glass mug out of heated sand. And then we can make that coffee and deliver it to that, uh, that fine city slicking lady down at the outpost. Because she, she has to drink her coffee out of, a, out of a dang glass mug. Dainty that she is, all that. And I just drink her out of a tin can. Let's do it right now. Watch. Check it out, guys. Flat white coffee. It's not my preferred cowboy style coffee. It's got milk in it, but it's the only recipe I know how to make. I can't even make black coffee. Dang it. So let's go ahead and make some. I'm going to make some flat white. And we can also make mochaccino. Check it out. Milk, coffee, and chocolate. Let's make one mochaccino. Because that's the hard stuff. Oh, look. And now we can make a coffee cake. Isn't that nice? Coffee cake right here. We're going to... Oh, we're going to need more eggs and coffee beans. I'm a little low on, on eggs and coffee beans right now. Dang. Porridge. Now that's a cowboy meal right there, but... Actually, I want to show you this cowboy meal. Candied corn. I'm going to make a bunch of candied corn. Look, self-respecting cowboy is not going to have a bit of corn on him. So there we go. We've got some corn. And where's my coffees? So we're going to go play around with these. When we get down to the plant, I'll show you what they can do for you. Actually, I think I'll drink a coffee right now. Now watch this. Flat white coffee down the hatch. Oh, it's good. So you can see here, we're getting a buff from our coffee. The flat weight gives us an energy boost, which gives us more uh, energy. I usually get four shots from my rifle. Let's give it a go right now. Uh, I probably, well, okay, it's fine. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six shots. Woohoohoo! That's what coffee can do for you, kids. You gotta love it. You get more bullets out of your gun. So now we got six shots instead of four. And that's because of that uh, that energy boost. So I guess it gives us more energy. You can't see any values in there, unfortunately, any number values. But um, trust me, I could only shoot four bullets before uh, before I drank coffee, and now I can shoot six. Lovely. All right, now let's get down to a plan. I want to show you guys something. We're gonna go to uh, see if I want to go back to my log cabin. Let's go to home, right? Even though I'm not actually orbiting that planet, I'm actually orbiting a different planet. Let me show you. Process it now. Uh, so I'm actually orbiting, so here's my home planet right here, but we are orbiting this planet. So if I go down to the planet, I'm going to end up here. But I can always get back to my home planet from anywhere, simply by going, like, clicking on that, or, uh, or using my teleporter over there. We can set any planet to home as well. And like I said, the bookmarking system is going to be coming pretty soon, so we'll be able to bookmark multiple planets. But for right now, I want to show you guys something. We're going to head down here to this planet, which is a forest planet. Because I'm after iron right now, guys. Because there's some things we're going to want to make with iron. And I was down here grabbing copper and some other items. And I want to show you something that I found. This is new in this version. 
in the stable edition. Down, down we go. Oh, hello. Oh boy, Sheriff McShooty here, fellas. I'm on the, uh, I'm on a mission, so nobody mess with me. Right there, that and that. This is the new micro dungeon. There's two of them right next door to each other, unless they're part of the same, the same system. I'm not really sure, but I was holding off exploring this place because I wanted to show you guys. So these little micro dungeons are going to be found. Here. Oh, is that a lantern? Oh, it is a lantern. Ha oh, ha. Cool! I'll just save my, my torches. Actually, I'm taking those lanterns with me. So you'll be able to find these micro dungeons scattered underground all over the darn place. And accordingly, uh, according to uh, Chucklefish, the developer, there are over 100 varieties of these underground right now. Now, what is that just... Oh, there's some iron. I need that iron. So let me grab that iron. All right, guys. And now... We're gonna go check out that other micro dungeon down there, but before we do so, we're gonna grab some of these uh, precious metals and gemstones, and you might see that blue down there beneath my feet. I was saving that for you guys. I wanna show you the first diamonds we got in this Let's Play Sheriff McShooty's first set of diamonds. And oh, you shoot too, don't you? Well, isn't that special? Hi, fella. What, what are you carrying there? Oh, it's nothing. All right, it's a chest. Let me get that. <laughs> I already got that. It looked like he had TNT in his hands. I thought he was up to no good. Here we go. Uh oh. Ah! Yikes. We got to shoot out here at the OK Corral. Hold on. Might have to get some coffee. I think I need some coffee. Take this guy down. I need more bullets. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Diamonds. Let's bust through this cobblestone. Get them diamonds. Only two? Ah, well, beggars can't be choosy. You know what? Let me just use my copper pickaxe. Make short work of this. There we go. Awesome. Two diamonds. And now let's head on. Is that something? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold. Ah, three diamonds. Thank you for that. I know you guys are saying, there's another one down there. And I think I heard you. I think I heard you in my brains. Let's get down here. Now check out these tents. Do these tents not have spikes like that before? They have uh, tent stakes in the side. That's pretty cool. Now what is this stuff? This metal. Let me take some of that too over down here. Girder. You never know when you need some good girder. Woo-wee! This is a home dinger of a hole right here. Okay, gotta be careful going down. So yeah, I, I decided to go down a little bit deeper. Oh, okay, not too bad. To find more silver. Because I, I want to show you guys something. I want to upgrade my uh, my matter manipulator, and I need 10 silver to do so. So I figured I'd go down a little deeper. And look at all the goodies down here. Mm-hmm. Let's get rid of that spike. And what do we have here? We have some sugar, pixels, and some iron ore. Strange place to find sugar. And gold! Lovely, lovely gold. Just one little bit. And lots of iron. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, gather up some more of these resources and I will see you guys back up on the ship so I'll hold tight I'll be right back all right folks let's get on back to the surface get up to old Ironsides you're coming for me aren't you bird hey, dang it I just came out of a hole had enough trouble down there get out of here you varmint don't make me shoot you again dang stinking bird go skedaddle okay fine you asked for it all right, nasty bird. Let's get back up to old Ironsides. Whew, I'm in rough shape. I'm plumb tuckered out. I could just grab a few Zs here if you don't mind. Oh, who the heck am I kidding? We don't have time for a nap right now. We got a pretty lady back at the outpost waiting for her coffee. And let me tell you, boys out there, you don't keep a lady waiting. Trust me on that one. I know what I'm talking about. So first thing we're going to do is just put everything away. <laughs> So, we're going to put everything away here, get reorganized, and then head down to the outpost. And actually, to the desert. we got to go to the desert first, don't we? Ye gads, yes we do. But I'm going to go ahead and make up all my iron, and my gold, and my platinum. Now, where in the tarnation did that Sheriff Mick shoot get himself off to? I don't see him anywhere in this ship. Do you? <laughs> Psst, check the flower beds. Over here. There I am. Hello. <laughs> Look at this. I can hide in the flowers. So when any nasty bandits board my ship, I could just boop. Take off the hand, of course. And nobody will see me. 
I'm just one of these flowers is all. <laughs> Check it out. I can turn this one too. All right. Anyway, enough fooling around. Let's uh, let's upgrade our liquid our matter manipulator so that we can do liquid collection. We need ten bars of refined silver. So saith Ed, Mr. Ed, and sure enough, I already have it. And we just issue the command, and voila. Upgraded matter manipulator. And then the next upgrade will be 10 bars of gold and 10 bars of titanium. So that's going to be a little bit of time before we get that. But now we can suck up liquids. And you know what? Um, I'm a little hurt. I'm going to go ahead and eat right now. I'm going to have some pearl pea risotto. And then uh, we're going to head to a desert. So we're going to scroll out here and look for a desert planet. Nope. And ah, here we go. It's mostly harmless. That's just what we want to hear. Mostly harmless. Let's go. All right, folks. We are just about ready to beam down to the desert planet and collect our sand. But before we do that, I want to show you that we now have access to upgraded picks. We can make a golden pickaxe and a silver pickaxe. Of course, you have to have the ingredients, which I do. But uh, I'm, I'm only going to make a silver pickaxe. I'm saving my gold for my matter manipulator upgrade. But I've made up three copper pickaxes and this one silver pickaxe. And now we're ready to rock and roll. Sooner or later, we will be able to make diamond pickaxes and platinum pickaxes. And each one in turn is faster than, than the last. So right now, copper is the slowest. Then it goes silver, gold, platinum, and diamond, I believe. All right. Are we ready? Heading down to the desert? All right. Now watch your back. I hear it's pretty hostile. Lots of varmints down here. I don't know what to expect. You ready? Here we go. And of course it's dark. Why is it always dark in these planets? Uh oh, who that? E Gaz, we're surrounded! Alright, put your hands up, son! Sheriff McShooty's here. I'm a lawman. Now go on, raise him up. Raise him up high. Aim for the sky. Not just one, put both hands up, dang it. That's just a warning shot. Come on. Oh, it's just cactus. Never mind. Cacti. <laughs> Hi. Alright, I got a little nervous there. <laughs> Alright, anyway, enough fooling around. Uh, all we need is sand. And guess what we're standing on? Sand. Here's the sand right here. Let's see. Take some of that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh dear, there he goes. I'm sorry, son. Oh boy. I didn't mean to do that to that poor fella. Anyway, well. Hey, watch out. It's a nasty bird. I told you this place is hostile. <laughs> you better dive. I got a better idea. How about you die instead? Come here. Stinking bird. I need a shotgun or something. Whew. Hard to shoot a bird with a bullet. All right. We're good. So, what did we get? We got some cactus. That's nice. We got some saplings. Cactus saplings, I guess. And we can... Uh, it's the spiky and succulent cacti. We can probably use that to make some food, apparently. But right now, I'm mainly concerned in sand. We can use fine sand or regular sand. It doesn't matter. You know what? Let's take the sand underneath it. Whoa, timber! Oh my gosh, it's quicksand. Help me! Help me! Here, somebody throw me a rope, please. I'm stuck. Come on, get your sheriff out of here. Hmm. Dang stinking birds. I'm just, I just, I'm just here for the sand. Now leave me alone, people. I told you, there's lots of varmints down here. It's a desert. So now we're just gonna grab some sand. We could search around on the surface here, maybe find some goodies. But ooh, hello. That was a beak seed. Seed. It was a beak seed seed. And while I'm here, I like to grab all the various trees and plants and bring them all back with me. This is, oh, it's a it's this palm tree. Though I suppose we could look around. Oh my gosh, we have a big guy here. Look at the size of that one. It's a real humdinger. Hey, bird. I'm not talking to you. All right, we're going to fight this fella. I hear there's a warrant out for his arrest. And who better to arrest him than Sheriff McShooty? Let's go get him. Okay, folks. This is a mini boss. You can tell by the little sparklies coming off his body there. So we gotta we gotta strategize. They're tough. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little floor here in case we fall down that way. We can dig in and shoot him from the safety of a cave. It seems kinda cowardly, but just in case. I don't know how tough he is. He looks like a tough hombre, doesn't he? He might even be stronger at night. I, he might even be friendly. Hello? Alright, I'm Sheriff McShooty and I'm here to take you in. Wow, that's a big mouth. Okay, he's not so friendly. Listen, if you come peacefully, I won't have to shoot you. 
Just put him up. You better run. Look at him go, coward. Come back here, you big pansy. Come on. Oh, he's got friends. He went and got friends, I see. That was going to be. You can't fight me, mano a mano. Let me see that mouth again. Open. Wow, he slapped me. He gets. All right, let's get some let's get some foods. We need foods. Let's eat that food. <laughs> food going to help us heal. <laughs> Had I better have a bandage. Uh-oh. Here comes one of his minions. What the heck is a spiky dude? He's a pretty tough spiky dude. And he shoots. Them. What are you shooting at me? Throwing bones and stuff. Stop throwing bones. That's kind of impolite. Don't you know? Yeah, put up my shield. Yeah, go ahead. Throw some bones now. I got my shield. <laughs> oh, I can't shoot. Oh, I have no energy. Die. Whoo. Okay, good. Let's get some light on the subject. All right. Got his friend down. Got my shield back up. He's healing. I'm healing. And I uh, better attack now. Oh, look at that bug. That's nice. Hold on. Hold on. I haven't seen one of these before. What is that? Oh, it's a sand clown. Ah, huh, that's new. Add that to my collection. All right, anyway. Let's get this varmint and bring him in. Now, I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you, but I'm a man of the law. And the more you shoot, the more it's going to work against you. When you get in front of the court of law, you see, son. You can't slap him, Sheriff, that's for sure. He's a tough hombre, isn't he? Going down in the hole. I see what you're doing. Trying to draw me down into that hole, I see. Probably going to let a bunch of friends down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get the shield up. Don't shoot the little guy, because he'll jump in. I think we got him. We got him. We got him. Whew. And a, a vicious guardian. I should have looked to see what he was. But we just got ourselves a vicious guardian. Which is a two-handed crossbow. 120. Wow. What was that? It's actually better than my rifle. My Winchester. My, my Winchester, I should say. Let's give it a try. Oh, there's one of his minions. Hey, minion. Oh, and it has fire, too. It has fire damage. Just got to shoot him with it. He is, what are you shooting at me? You shooting at bones and fish? What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, we're getting uh, distracted here. Let's grab our sand and let's get out of here. Let's hightail it out of Dodge. This place is full of crazies. They're all bonkers around here. Sheriff's just going to grab his sand and go finish up his job. All right, deputies. We're just about ready to leave Dodge. But before we go, I want to show you what we can do with this candied corn. I meant to do this earlier. There we go, down the hatch, mm-mm-mm, sugary treat, and you'll see this little symbol right here. That means we get to move faster. Look how fast we run. Yeah. That's awesome. Now it lasts about 30 seconds. Little speed boost, very nice. And that's about it. Of course, it gives us the healing effect as well. And, oh, bug, let's get that guy. I think I already got one of him, but let's grab another one. Oh, it's a sun skipper bug. That's new. So now I've got a sand clown and a sun skipper. How lovely. All right, now let's get out of here. This place is worse than Mos Eisley Spaceport. It's a wretched hive of scum and villainy. And there's my beam up. Let's go. And now it's time to move on with our quest. I'll get more reorganized later. So now that we have our sand, right, we've got, uh, hold on, we've got sand. We've got, what do we have? sand and fine sand and now we go over here to the furnace and we can make glass blocks with either one of those so i'm just gonna go ahead and make a whole bunch and you can see the new recipes here glass coffee mug haha -ha, how convenient medical syringe and an empty bottle let's just make a bunch and now we can come over here and make our glass bottle glass coffee mug that's what we're looking for right there requires two glass and I'll make an extra just in case. You never know what this city slicker is going to pull on us when we get down to her planet. And now we should have everything we need. And, uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, did I drink all her coffee? Uh-oh, I think I drank all her coffee. I sure did. That's okay. we got some extra coffee beans right here. We'll bring down the coffee. Actually, just grab all the coffee beans. I'm just going to bring all the coffee beans down. And we shall use those coffee beans to make more coffee because I kind of sort of drank that coffee and I probably shouldn't have. Okay, let's get over to the outpost, down to the city, and complete this quest. I'll meet you there. Oh, yeah, here's my coffee seeds. I know I had coffee seeds around somewhere. Whew, almost had a heart attack there. So, eventually, 
In the next episode or two, we are going to do some farming. And I don't know if you saw it earlier, but we can make a hoe here on the iron anvil with my copper, which we'll do, like I said, pretty soon. Let's get down to the planet. Let's go visit the, the pretty lady at the outpost and get this job done. All right, here we are back at the outpost, and I'm just going to saunter into town. That's a saunter right there. You hold down shift to saunter, by the way. Strutting, sauntering, whatever you want to call it. And there she is! There's my lady! Hello, ma'am. I think it's a ma'am. Ma'am, I got your stuff. Fill her up. Mmm, coffee. I guess I didn't have to make the coffee. <laughs> I just give her a glass cup. I really need to stir it before I'm satisfied. What? Talk to me again. Wait a minute now, ma'am. I just done what you asked me to do. It took me four days to do it. Nearly got at by a giant beastie with a mouth the size of Jupiter. And now, uh, okay, what can I do for you now, ma'am? Stir, not shaken. If you get some steel and forge a stirring spoon for me, the drink will be perfect. Craft it on a metal workstation, and I'll surely give you the blank tech card. That's the card I'm after right there. You're giving me the runaround again, ma'am. And I don't take kindly to it. <sighs> this is what these city folk do. Dang, city slickers. Now move out of the way, you city slicker. I need that coffee machine. Beat it. Thank you. I'm gonna make my coffee and run. This is the only coffee machine in the galaxy right now, anyway. Hopefully I can get my own. Let's see if I can take it. Nope, can't take it. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. We have completed that particular quest. We will continue in the next episode. And uh, we'll go make some steel. And just make a stirring spoon. And then get this quest done. In the meantime, there's gonna be another quest opening up pretty soon over here somewhere. I thought there was, anyway. Maybe that guy, is that guy still in the toilet? Yep, he's still in the toilet up there. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk to him next time. All right, folks, we'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.